Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Schneider, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you a song that I've been working on, something I'm writing here. It's it's only eight bar phrase right now, but it's got a nice melody, some really nice chords, very gospely R&B, neo soul, all that great stuff. So I wanna play it for you first, just the melody, then I'll add the chords, and I'll break it down, show you what I'm doing, so you can take the chords and the devices behind them and apply it to your own music. Here we go. One, two, three. So there you have it. Now we're gonna break it down. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here. Again, so you can learn the why, not just the how. I can tell you the notes, but I'm gonna show you why everything works. So then you can take the, the principles behind it and apply it to your own music. Okay, here we go. Let's start with the first chord. It's, it's right there, it's F major 13. The root is in the, uh, the bottom note there, that's F. Then you have A, which is the third, right? D is the 13, G is the nine. C is the five, and then E on top is the major seven. So what's next? We're going from this to this. Awesome chord. This is A7 altered, also known as A7 sharp, nine sharp, five. I know that's a lot of information there, but let's break it down. We'll see what's, we'll see what's going on. We've got the, the seven in, in the bottom there. We've got the third. We've got the, um, the sharp five, the root, and the sharp nine. So that's G is the seven, C sharp is the third, F is the sharp five, A is the root, and then C is the sharp nine of the A7 sharp nine sharp five chord, or A7 altered chord, same name, it's the same chord. Uh, just so you guys can hear this with the bass note, uh, this is what it sounds like. What we're doing here is we're, we're breaking out of the key of F major, which is where we started, right? We started in that very F major sounding key, and then we're going straight to this A7 chord. Now, as you guys know, or may know, A7 is not in the key of, of F major, right? Because, well, we've got that C sharp. That C sharp is definitely not in the key of, of F major. If you play your, your F major scale, C sharp does not live there. So where's it coming from? It's coming from the note that's about to come next, which is a D minor chord. We're actually setting up the D minor chord with what's called a subdominant chord. Not a subdominant chord, a secondary dominant chord. We've talked about these before in the past. Uh, it's a, a, dominant, a temporary dominant chord that sets up the next one, the next tonic chord, which is D minor. And we'll, we'll go back into the secondary dominant in just a second. So D minor, we have D, G is the 11. Uh, C is the seven, the minor seven. F is the minor third, and then A is the five. So you would you could call this a D minor seven at eleven, maybe something like that. Now you wouldn't call it a D minor eleven chord because that would imply using the nine as well. Now that does sound good, so you could very well do that. I like this sounding voicing because it's got the the fourths, the the fourths with the third on top. And if you guys know the tune "So What" by Miles Davis you'll recognize this. Same voicing. Fourths with the third on top. That's a fourth, that's a fourth, that's a fourth. And then there's your third. Same thing, fourth, 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 third. Okay, it's, just, it's the so what voicing as they call it. So the secondary dominant that I talked about before is the A7 going to D minor because A7 is the five or the dominant of D minor. So we're setting up the next chord. Okay, let's keep going here. We've got F major, A altered, D minor, seven. Ooh, this is a good one, guys. This is a real good one. So I'm just gonna think of this chord as a C sharp over B. You know, we've got uh, the C sharp triad here. That's what, that's 
the uh, root position of the C-sharp triad, and then with the inversion, and then in, in the left hand I'm playing this B major triad. Now I'm omitting, I'm not playing that D-sharp, I don't really think it's necessary, I don't like the sound of it. A L- little bit too thick there, so I'm leaving it out. And the chord that comes after is this B flat major 7, that's a pretty classic voicing, you guys have seen this before. The, uh, the B flat in the bass, F is the 5, A is the major 7, D is the 3rd, very simple there, 4 note voicing, but this B chord leads really really nicely into the B flat chord. So what, what's happening there, what's the device? We're going into the 4 chord and we're getting there by, well this is, this is tritone substitution believe it or not guys, because what are we doing? If we were to play the 5, or the dominant of B flat, because remember, that's our destination here. We're going to B flat, that's the destination. And the 5 of that would be F7. So we were talking about the secondary dominance before, you remember that? Going from the, the A altered to the D minor? Well, we could do the same principle, going to the B flat major. So the, here we go, B flat major is our destination, and the secondary dominant would be F7. And it's a secondary dominant because F7 is, is not in the key of F major. Remember guys, the big picture is F major. That's the key center of this whole song. But we do these temporary shifts where we sometimes find ourselves in the key of D minor or the key of B flat major. And in order to accentuate those keys, we can use secondary dominant chords to, I, I like to say like set them up. Again, to set up the B flat major chord, we could do this secondary dominant chord of F7. But what sounds even cooler is doing the tritone substitution. So instead of playing F7, we're playing B, which is a tritone away from F. And we're building out this chord on B. And it leads so nicely into the B flat major. You got the B, the B to the B flat half step motion there. Even the inner voices are moving really well. We've got these two voices going here in contrary motion. And then you have your melody. Okay, so that was a lot on just that, that technique, but the reason I spent so much time on it is because going to the four chord in whatever song you're working on is a really great opportunity to use tritone substitution. Let's regroup again. We've got the F major 13 chord, A7 alt, D minor at 11. That's our C sharp over B major, B flat major. Now from here on, it's, it's a little bit more on the simple side. Uh, nothing too crazy happening. Okay, so we have B flat major going to F over A. And something I like to do is add in that E. So it's almost like an F major 7 over A. And I kind of do this little arpeggio just to fill some space and uh, transition into the next chord a little bit more smoothly. Okay, what chord is this? Can you guys figure this one out? G, D, F, and B flat. What is that? That's a G minor 7. And I do it twice like that. Actually, you know what I do actually? I, I go from this and I drop the bass note into a C. So I've got G minor 7, this is a B flat major chord over a C, so you'd write that, at, you'd write that as a, uh, a B flat slash C, resolving to the F major. This little fill, C, D, F, D, F, and then you repeat. I also like to do that little, I don't know, trill grace note thingy.
By the way, what is that chord progression at the end? Where's that coming from? Look at the bass motion. G, C, F, two, five, one, two, five, one progression. Something that we've seen again and again in jazz harmony. If we were to identify all the functions of the chords, we would say F major 13 is the one. A altered is the five of six because D minor is the sixth chord in the key of F. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six is your D minor. B is that, uh, it's a sort of a secondary dominant going to B flat major, but it's, it's the tritone substitution of that secondary dominant. And then B flat major is your four chord. F over A, that's kind of like a one chord. One over the A. And then two, five, one. Two, five, one. One more time with the drums so you guys can hear what it sounds like. Here we go. One, two, three. So there it is, just a little chord progression I, I put together this morning, wanted to share it with you. If you guys liked it, have any comments, questions, um, please feel free to leave them below and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeff Schneider. Have a good one.